the other story um, you and I have been talking about this, Michelle Carter. So she's a Massachusetts woman who was convicted of convincing her then boyfriend to commit suicide by encouraging him over texting. She was convicted behind bars, sentenced, the whole thing. So she's no longer innocent. She's guilty and a jury has sent her away. Now she may be getting out early. And this is the case that, I mean, it outraged this nation because what she was charged and convicted was involuntary manslaughter by persuading her boyfriend to kill himself and not only persuade him through a series of texts and phone calls, but that she actually intervened to not let other people potentially help him. Well, now while serving her 15-month sentence, about seven months in, she went before the parole board and asked to be let out early. And in one word, they gave her her answer, no. And why they said it is because not only her actions been so self-serving by intervening and not letting others potentially help this very troubled young man. His name is uh, Conrad Roy III. He's just 18 years old. And they also said this is not in the best interest of society. And let's all take this as a moment to remember for all of us, always be on the lookout for signs with at-risk people, young people in particular. It just takes one, any one of us, to potentially reach out and save a life. But in Michelle Carter's case, people have said she was a special kind of evil because she encouraged him. Beyond not letting other people do this, she encouraged him, and a jury found her guilty of involuntary manslaughter. While her parole, she was not allowed out early, she could shave 53 days off of her sentence for so-called good behavior. You and I have talked about, again, the system. People think justice will be served. Even if she's not released early, shaving off that 53 days, that's 53 days he doesn't get with his family. You said it best. In so many homicide cases that I have handled where there's a death, family always says to me, what is this good time thing? And that's what we're talking about here at Tamron. And what good time is, is that while the government says it's appropriate to punish people with prison in certain circumstances, they also think, how can they try to make sure they don't commit future crimes when they get out, that they become productive members of society? And one of the ways they do that is educational programs in prison, job training, and as an incentive for people in prison to take up those opportunities, they say, you do this, you stay out of trouble while you're in jail, you, the incentive is you will get days off your sentence. And that's exactly what this young woman has done. And so up to now, I think it's about three months that no matter what the parole board says, she will be out three months as earlier as of now of that 15-month sentence. I heard you say something. I, I just heard, I, I get distracted because the audience talks in our show, so we're going to let you talk. I heard someone, was it, I, come on, stand up here. <laughs> um, what do you think of this case and this idea of good time and good behavior? Well, certainly you want people to uh, rehabilitate themselves, but uh, I did follow that uh, case, and it she truly, truly had him go over the edge. Mm -hmm. it, it definitely was... I have to get was... you to stand up, because you are so passionate about this. I don't oh. need to be afraid. What's your name? Kathy. Kathy. And you follow this story. I did. I did. I uh, also have a home up in Massachusetts. It's very big story up in Massachusetts and um, I have I have a child and I, I can't imagine somebody persuading her to harm herself yeah. how how could how could somebody do that it was it really was I felt it was pure evil yeah and that's the thing about this case Anasiga it did hit home for so many people and now watching this and the idea that Yes, the system allows for good behavior, even for more heinous crimes, if you want to level them that way. But for her to be able to get out, even 53 days, we always look for these takeaways. This case, you believe, enlightened what? What this, did this shed a light on? Troubled youth. Hmm. For all of us, let's try to help at the root before they get to this level. 